Greetings and salutations. Wilbot here with another Fusion 360 tutorial. And today I'm going to hopefully help you fix your Fusion font problems. A little while ago I was trying to use a font in Fusion and no matter what I did I couldn't get it to work. And I happened to find a fix for it. Uh, as you can see here, I've got five different fonts in five different sketches. And if we try to extrude one, you'll see that we get an error saying that the tool body creation failed. Now, as many of you would probably know already, generally if you edit the sketch, and right click on the text and say explode text that may fix the problem but as you can see down here with this one it says it could not retrieve the profile of the selected text and that actually happens with all of these fonts on here so what I've discovered is that if we look at these fonts themselves let's take the birch which is the second one there it's an open type font if we open it up you can see it's an open type layout postscript outlines now not all of these are like that let's have a look at the roman unical modern which is a true type font and a just says true type outlines and as you can see if we go to the Roman Unical one try to extrude same error and if we edit the sketch try to explode same problem so what can you do well fortunately there's an easy fix and I can't 100% say this is going to work for every single font but so far it's worked for every font that I've tried it with if you open up your web browser and go to fontconverter.org and then choose your font file just go to birch standard and open and you can see that's listed there and because that is an open type font already select the output type as true type font hit start and that'll convert it and you just download it and save it wherever you need for the true type ones like the Roman Unical open it convert it to open type font do the conversion save it but then you'll actually need to go back and choose that open type font and then convert it back to a true type font and then save it to your computer and what you'll end up with if we go back here we'll go to this folder When you open it up you'll see it's an open type layout with true type outlines and check the roman unical one open type layout true type outlines so what you need to do after the conversion is copy those files and navigate to your Windows fonts folder and you'll need to delete the files that are already there um, because especially if they're different types like an OTF and you're replacing it with a TTF it will actually keep both files there which can lead to a bit of confusion because inside Fusion it will only show one of them so best to delete them and then you paste them in there 
I've already done that, so I'm just going to say replace them. And as you can see, if we look at the Botrigula standard, it's got open type layout, true type outlines, and so will the others. So you need to restart Fusion, and then we'll come back and have a look. All right, so Fusion's restarted, and basically just go new sketch, grab our text tool, just place it anywhere, and what was the first one we got? Birch standard. Birch standard. Rotate that around. Okay. We can actually do these in the same sketch, it doesn't really matter. Find our next one, which was uh, Black Oak Standard. So now if we stop the sketch and select one of them, hit E for extrude, now they extrude. Now not every single one of them will extrude, but if after doing that you find that it won't extrude, you will find that if you go into the edit sketch you will be able to break it apart or explode the text and then you'll be able to extrude it so um, yeah that should hopefully help you to fix all of your fusion font problems thanks very much for watching catch you next time